<laughs> hey, Chris. Alex, good to see you again, man. Welcome to London. Thank you. Thank you. It's sunny today, so it's all good. Let's go for an autonomous drive. Come Sounds on good. In. Excellent. All right. So we're at 1026 in the morning in central London. Just leaving the Microsoft office, going for a ride through Notting Hill. So what we're experiencing now is our AI driving this car through central London uh, fully autonomously, controlling the speed, the steering, the indicators, and there's no HD map. We're not being told where or how to drive, but it's driving entirely based on what it sees. It's looking at these pedestrians around us, um, oncoming cars, lane markings, and making yes. decisions uh, entirely real time for itself. That's, that's the level of intelligence that we've been able to learn in this model today. The big breakthrough for us last year was building our foundation model from being just dealing with single images to videos to multiple videos and multiple sensors and at the start of last year okay our ai only took a single image in and it couldn't really understand motion and dynamics but today uh, this model is taking in multiple cameras video streams from multiple cameras at the same time and understanding the surround motion around the vehicle so you might see a lot more smooth behavior as a result here's one thing i remember from from when we rode in the spring of last year like I, I noticed some of the buses kind of veering a little bit towards the mm. middle of the road. And last year, I remember when that would happen, the car would almost come to a complete stop because it, it wasn't sure if that vehicle was going to come all the way into our well, lane. Look, we're going to bus here and we're going to overtake it while it's um, parking to let passengers This up. is a lot smoother than that was in the spring. Like we're able to go around it, and navigate mm. around it pretty well. Whereas in the spring, I think we were stopping more for safety reasons, obviously. Sorry, let's just look at this. There's an unprotected turn. This car flashed its lights at us, and now we've right. driven through. Oh, right. this um, this road's going to be interesting. This one is. Yeah, I mean, we're right see. in the middle of Portobello Road Market. Navigated right through there, no problem. I it, love it. The challenge is how do you understand and predict what what's going to happen? Predict how others are going to behave and how your decisions affect others around the world and uh, around in the scene in front of you, and. The Gaia world model that we produced, that's what one of the things that we think is gonna be a key unlock there. Mm -hmm. Giving our models the ability not just to be auto-regressive and to decide what's gonna happen next, but actually understand the implications of these decisions, about to simulate how others are gonna behave. And so when we think about a kind of AI that's going to solve this problem, I think it's gotta have the ability to understand you know, the video the motion around the vehicle. It's got to be able to predict what's going to happen next. Mm -hmm. you know, we get that from Gaia. It's got to be grounded in language so we can give it feedback and interact and build trust with it. We get that from the Lingo model we've built. Um, and all of these kind of things, I think, will produce a model that with the right compute, data, uh, and scale, you know, we can produce uh, the level of performance that's required for autonomy. You know, my presumption was always that, you know, there's two very, those are two very dis different disciplines and you'll have language models to do the intelligence and the explanation and that's how we might talk to a, a machine or a vehicle and then you'd have the embodied model which would deal with all the physics of this which is, you know, directions of travel, speed, spatial recognition and the like. And you're telling me that the opportunity is really a really a multimodal model that you know, kind of does both. We are seeing the early signs of that model coming here at Wave. Okay. A vision language action model that can understand the world, can control the car, uh, and you can interact with it with language. That's, I mean, look, that, that's, that's pretty exciting.